Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back to another video. In this video, everybody, I'm going to be showing you guys that I have switched to Antergos. Now, I know recently I had uploaded a video called I Have Switched to Manjaro. However, I have decided to switch to Antergos XFCE instead of Manjaro. So, yeah, the, the idea is to go ahead and ditch Manjaro for Antergos XFCE. Um, so here's my setup. We've got basically the same exact setup we had in Manjaro, uh, except it's just a little bit nicer in my opinion. Um, you know, uh, Antergos is also a lot less buggy than Manjaro. It's uh, Antergos doesn't have that those dumb security issues. You know the the um, problems that I've been hearing about Antergos or. Uh, I apologize about Manjaro is that it's been having some kind of security problem but you know I, I haven't really read much about it so just describe it in the description if you have time on your hands um, as you may notice um, my microphone is still terrible because I still am, un uh, am unable to find my um, my good microphone so I very much apologize for that hopefully by the next video um, well not the next video but hopefully Pretty soon we will, um, you know. I, I just uh, shoot. I just shot um, tech, uh, pseudo Linux a um, a message asking him if if he could bring his Apple earbud microphone, ear, earbuds microphone tomorrow. Um, so we'll see what he says. We'll see if he has any um, extra pairs in the stock. <laughs> Let's see if he has any in stock, <laughs> so uh, I can have a pair. So yeah. Um, anyway, let's get started with this video. So yeah, as I said, I have switched over to Antergos, um, Antergos XFCE to be exact, uh, you know, from Manjaro XFCE, um, <clears throat> and I, I love it so far. Uh, as you can see, we still got the same uh, cat background that I had um, in my previous episodes of my previous previous videos uh, on my channel, you know, like uh, two days ago, I believe it was, I still had this wallpaper, uh, and the CUPS tutorial I made a few minutes ago. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, we still got this wallpaper. Um, you know, uh, I've actually been using Antrigos for a couple days now. I think two, three, three, maybe four days now. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's been a lovely distro. I think this is going to be my permanent, um, my permanent choice. We'll, but we'll see. We'll see. You know me. Um, I like to, I like to jump around and try different dis different distros and different desktop environments. Well, actually. Uh, as you all know, XFCE is my favorite desktop environment. It's very hard to leave XFCE. It's very, very nice to me. Uh, it works really well since uh, since my computer is a Core i7 uh, and it has a an, an okay graphics card. Um, uh, the the uh, fan uh, it gets really hot. Uh, my CP my computer gets really hot. Except that um, I did actually recently reapply thermal compound and I switched over to XFCE desktop environment, which has improved performance. Um, it it's also improved the um, it's uh, decreased the uh, the um, temperatures the CPU temperatures. Um, yeah, it's it's been great. I really love XF the XFCE desktop environment, and I really love the Antergos distro itself. Um, as may and as many of you may know, um, Antergos is just is just the, basically the same exact thing as Arch Linux, except it has a um, a easy to go installer. Um, but you know, uh, I actually found out that I actually found um, to myself that. Um, Arch Linux was, it was a little bit weird um, with with choosing some of my theming um, with um, with uh, with the XFCE desktop environment. When I would choose theming, it would be a little bit weird. Um, let me just close that out. Uh, yeah, it would be it would be sort of weird um, with some of the things that I that I did. Like it was just some kind of extremely flat theme. Um, that looked really, really weird. It looked kind of like a, a, a like a high contrast theme, um, I guess I could say. Um, but you know, let, let's just go ahead and move on over to uh, you know. Let's just, I guess we can look into the directories. You can see what the windows look like. Looks very, very nice. We can go ahead and open up DuckDuckGo. Um, close that out. No, guys, I do not. I, I don't have a credit card. I don't pay for my own stuff. That's just. That's just. Um, <laughs> I'm just asking to order something um, f for my parents. It's actually ink cartridges for my printer, which I, I just recently fixed. Uh, my my HP OfficeJet 6500A uh, Plus was giving me issues. It would not pick up uh, paper uh, and feed it into the printer because of the rollers. You know, I'll make a video on it pretty soon, probably tomorrow or something if I get the chance. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, so anyway, uh, enough with that. Let's go ahead and just move on over to our XFCE. Um, 
uh, theme manager we can go ahead and go on over to our XOCE theme manager so yes guys this is the same exact pretty much uh, setup that we had in Manjar except that I instead use Numix Frost um, instead of just plain old Numix I use Numix Numix Frost Light for this and basically it's just a bluish theme if I do Numix you can um huh maybe <laughs> oh I think I have to um go to controls and go to Numix yep see if I go to controls and then Numix it's a little bit different um you know I kind of like Numix Frost you know I'm gonna var it's gonna variate sometimes I'm gonna ch I'm gonna be in the mood for Numix sometimes I'm gonna be in the mood for Numix Frost um, so yeah, window borders is Numix Frost Light. Uh, controls is Numix Frost. Icons is Numix Circle. Cursor, breeze, and wallpapers. You know, just that. You know, it's my it's my very same exact setup that I typically have on an XFCE desktop environment of a daily basis. Every day, every time I have an XFCE Linux distro, uh, and, and, and every time that I use a um, XFCE desktop environment I always have you know the same setup uh, but you know hopefully soon I'll you know stop being so obsessed with the Numix theming how nice it looks to me because um, I am actually uh, thinking of trying some other uh, theming um, you know we'll see we'll see I might even switch over to just plain old Numix icons uh, icon pack instead of Numix circle because you know my friend Pseudo Linux gets gets a little complainy about that well not not complainy but um, you know uh, he doesn't like very, very flat theming. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like that, but uh, I also kind of like the really flat theming um, with the XFCE desktop environment. Well, anyway, guys, I have run out of time for this video. Um, I guess I guess that is it. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys later.